What's going on, America? I'm the right wing name, Joada from Mackin. In this video, we're going to talk about South Carolina basketball coach Dawn Staley saying she supports biological males playing against biological females in women's sports. Let's check this out. All right, if you're not following the right wing danger already, please do. It is fire content every single day. All right, let's go. Dan Zakrzewski, Outkick Coach, you just talked about, you know, what a massive weekend this is, obviously, for women's basketball, women's sports in general. One of the major issues facing women's sports right now is the debate, discussion topic about the inclusion of transgender athletes, biological males in women's sports. I was wondering if you would tell me your position on that issue. By the way, if you don't know Outkick.com, they're a base sports outlet. So if you love sports and you hate the woke BS that's coming from ESPN and other outlets, check out Outkick.com. Um, damn, you got deep on me, didn't you? I, I, I'm on the, I mean, I'm on the, the opinion of, of, if you're a woman, you should play. If you consider yourself a woman or, and you want to play sports or, or vice versa, you should be able to play. That's okay, this is the, I don't want to get canceled answer. I really don't know if she truly supports this because her team just won the NCAA Women's National Basketball Championship. Now, would she put up her title for her team to play against a, a team full of biological males who identified as women just so they can play against them? I highly doubt it. But she needs to put her, her money or a, a, a title where her mouth is, right? You think that Men who identify as women should be considered women and play in women's sports, then put up your national championship against a team of biological males who identify as women. Let's see how that works out. That's, that's my opinion. You want me to go deeper? Do you, do you think uh, transgender women should be able to participate? That, in, that, that's your question you want basketball. me to ask. I mean, you want to ask, so I'll, I'll give you that. Yes. Yes. So now the barnstorm of people are going to flood my timeline and be a distraction to me on one of the biggest uh, days of, of, of our game. And I'm okay with that. I really am. Dan's like so you're okay with that. You're, you're willing to, to stand on that sentence, that statement that you made. You're willing to take the backlash for biological males who identify as females who want to play against your team who let's be honest are at an unfair disadvantage playing against biological males but apparently that goes out of the window with these woke people apparently that goes out of the window with the indoctrinated who listen to outlets like MSNBC and and CNN and and they listen to their their woke colleagues that tell them these things, yeah, men, uh, women who identify as women should be able to play against biological women. Like, why wouldn't they? Because they have different bone structure, because they have different muscle mass, because they have, it's just different. We are completely different. I don't know where people get this idea that men and women are exactly the same and there's nothing different between us. That's BS, okay? And I wish people would stop saying that like you're you're telling lies when you want people to believe that men and women are, are exactly the same we're not the only reason that ever came up is because of this transgender movement it's lgbtq movement that wanted people to believe that well we're the same so males should be able to a biological male should be able to play against females in sports no i don't buy that I know biology. They always they told us to believe the science during COVID. It was like the right wing don't believe the science. Well, y'all don't believe the science when it comes to this. Y'all don't believe facts. Y'all don't believe evidence. Y'all don't believe biology. Y'all don't believe any of that when it comes to this. But y'all wanted us to trust and believe. But nope, I don't trust and believe. I believe my eyes and I believe facts and I believe 
evidence. And the evidence shows that biological men should not be playing against biological female in sports. So I want you to check out this tweet from Riley Gaines, and she actually laid into Dawn Staley a little bit. Check this out. All right, check this out. It's a tweet from Riley Gaines on this particular matter. She says, considering yourself a woman is now the threshold. Women have a much bigger hill to climb than I thought. And that's exactly right. Just because you consider yourself a woman, then you should be able to be treated like a woman. Is that how that works? If I consider myself a woman, a woman, I can go in a women's bathroom. I consider myself a woman. I can get scholarships that were dedicated to women. If I consider myself a woman, then I should be able to get all the benefits that come with being a woman. That's not how reality works. Sorry. All right. Check out some other tweets because I think people are going in on Megan Kelly. Great question. Horrific answer. And this coach makes her dereliction toward the fairness and safety of women all about her. Oh, boo hoo. She'll get criticized. Yeah, we get upset when girls slash women are endangered by social justice warriors who are supposed to protect them. Exactly right. Check this out. We serve an unbelievable God. Her response in winning the national championship. Dawn Staley, it's this very God who created man, men and women differently. Coach of the best women's basketball team in the country, and she can't even acknowledge what a woman is. Embarrassing. Amen. It is completely embarrassing. This video is embarrassing. She made a fool of herself. She just should have kept, kept it real. That's all we need to do in 2024. Forget cancel culture. Just keep it real. Now, if this is what you truly believe, then you're an idiot. But at least we can say, well, you stood on you stood on business. Your business is phony and false and and pathetic. But at least you stood on business. What do you think about this video? Y'all let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace. Thank you.